Sheila, thank you very much. You, know, you can do it all over the internet. I'm talking about file your taxes, get help, answers to your question. Joining us this morning, Dave Hatter with Libertas Technologies. Dave, how you doing? Good, Rob. How let's, are you? let's talk about this first thing. You, you're putting your name on there, your social security number on there, you're putting your address on there, all in one location. How wary should you be in terms of putting that information on the internet? That, that's an excellent question. You are putting some pretty sensitive information out there. You know, there's basically two ways you can do this. Most of the main vendors of this software, like TurboTax and H&R Block with their tax cut product, both of which have been around for well over a decade probably, you can either buy software just like you always would, install it on your machine, all the data stays on your local computer until you actually submit it. Okay. That's potentially more secure depending on how secure your local network is than using the online services. But, you know, you, you got to keep them on like buying something from Amazon or, right. or whomever. You know, it's in their interest to try and protect your data as best they can because if all of a sudden H&R Block or Intuit, the people that make TurboTax, are right. in the news because your tax information has been compromised, they're probably you know looking at going out of business. It's bad business, because, yeah, yeah. It's not going to be good. Okay, so. let's talk about uh, some of the websites you have brought with you in terms of helping you to do your taxes. Yeah, there's, there's everybody's favorite, the IRS, <laughs> and I would suggest that's the first place you should look for any kind of tax information. And they've got some interesting tools on here now. They, you know, e-files been around around for years where right. you do it non-electronically or electronically you can submit that data electronically to the IRS okay you can now go online and find out what is the status and do an online trace of your refund they mention here if you don't get it within 28 days from the original date you can do a trace they also point out here and I think this is critical don't fall for any email scams about your refund IRS never initiates emails again IRS never initiates emails Click here for more info about email and phishing scams. Okay, so that's really good information. So yeah. if you get an email from the IRS, it's fake. If you get an email from the IRS that says <laughs> you've got a refund, it's absolutely positively fake. Do not do whatever it tells you to do. Call the IRS if you have a question. Okay, now that website is free. Are there any other, there's some other websites that cost you money, correct? There are. Like H&R Block, the, the tax people, uh -huh. have a, a piece of software you can buy called Tax Cut that you can do your taxes with. Or you can do it online and you can see this time of year they've sort of revamped their website. Do it myself online, do it with me online, do it for me office. You know, okay. I want to go into the office. And then you have TurboTax. TurboTax is probably, it's the first one I knew of in this space. You right. know, it's pretty much the perennial favorite of people. You can also either do it entirely online or you can download a version of TurboTax where, again, all your data is local until you submit it. And it, it shows you the price and the different levels of service. You've probably seen the commercials on TV. Well, you know, the wife comes in and she's talking to the husband and he's like, well, I got a problem. Well, you used a box. You right. know, and talking to the box, kind right. of a joke. Right. So with either one of these, if you did elect to take this route as opposed to going, you know, entirely into an office somewhere, you can get help through their online advisors and so forth. So it's not quite as drastic as they might make it seem in the commercial. But, but the question is, you can't pick up a phone and call someone for help. You've got to do it all online. Well, you can pick up. The, it, it's going to cost you more money. Okay. You know, and that's these premier levels of service. And again, there are numbers you can call. They may charge you by the hour. You've got to look at that carefully before you get too deep into it. And, and some of the things that are worthwhile to dig into, if you go to TurboTax or H&R Block, you can drill down into these and see what you get for a particular level of service. Because, you know, if, you, if you're a, like a 1040 EZ form filer, yeah. this electronic stuff works great. If you have a lot of real complicated taxes, maybe you own several businesses and capital gains tax and that kind of stuff, it gets a lot more complicated. Okay, there you go. I'll tell you what, uh, Dave is a whiz when it comes to the internet. He probably can answer any one of your questions. You can contact him at Libertas Technologies, 859-261-9700. Dave, nice right. job, man. Nice seeing you again. You too. Uh, we have much more straight ahead on the Fox 19 Morning News, including a